we're here at Tom's Camperland showroom in Mesa today. We're looking at some new Overland trailers and seeing what they have. This is the Jackrabbit trailer. Uh, it's lightweight. You can tow this with your Wrangler or any small SUV. It's strong enough to carry quads or a side-by-side -side up on the top, but specifically this one's made for like two sport quads. It's a great little utility trailer. It's lightweight, like I said. It has nice bars around the edge that you can tie your quads down on and it opens up to a tent. Uh, it starts out about $7,000 and this is one of my favorites. It has a torsion bar axle. I just wanted to show you this to start out with. This is the Black Series tent trailer. I really like this a lot. Look at the clearance on this. This I can't tow with my Wrangler, but it has an outside kitchen with a three burner stove and a sink with a little drying rack it looks like. Some outside storage. And look how roomy it is inside. The beds are huge. It comes with a table, benches. It's really just a primitive tent trailer, really. The tongue, some nice mud flaps. It comes with a lot of outside storage. It's just pretty incredible. It looks like your fridge could go there. Your outside controls. It looks like this rack folds up over the top so you could tie your generator down or whatever camping gear you have. Some more outside storage. Looks like maybe an inverter in there. It's pretty cool. Two spare tires. That rack looks pretty beefy. This is pretty cool for a pop up tent trailer. If you're into that sort of thing, I think your Dometic fridge or ARB fridge would fit right there. Or like my other video, maybe the LP Cool C50. I'll take some measurements, but maybe it'll fit. But this thing is really big, it's really nice. Unfortunately, they didn't have a price on it, so I have no idea how much this is, but, but I really liked it. I love the clearance on it, it's crazy. This is a tag teardrop. I'm really kind of amazed at what they do with such small spaces. But let's take a look inside. Got kind of a fake wood floor inside. I notice right away. It's really small. It has some sort of window air conditioner. And a dinette. Let's have a seat. Oh, it's got a little TV up there on the wall. A big stereo with some more storage, a little more seating. It looks like it has a bathroom and a shower. The door is amazingly small, but there's not much room. I'm a pretty big guy. I don't know if I'd fit in here, but not comfortably for sure. But it has a bathroom, which is pretty amazing. It's open on the top. There's no fan. The fan is in the center of the room right there. But it looks like it has some sort of heating, air conditioning. That's pretty nice. 
some storage. It'd be kind of fun for a weekend trip, maybe. If I could figure out a way to haul my quad with it. But the kitchen's really cool. Let's go check that out. The kitchen's in the outside. I apologize for the for the surrounding noise. Uh, it was just too overwhelming, so I'm going to narrate for the rest of this. So this is the outside kitchen, and it has a two burner stove, a sink with a cutting board, outside TV, outside fridge, lots of storage, outside speakers pretty neat to actually have a fridge in it coming around to the side we have an outside shower that's really amazing uh, shore power water inlet the vent for the shower and cable and the little covered box in the front that holds the propane and the batteries and there's the wastegate for the black water. And all four corners have jacks. And look at the beefy tires for the off-road. It has pretty good clearance. Outdoor power. I'm pretty impressed with this little thing. This is this is pretty neat. Here's some more small trailers that I didn't review that you could tow with SUV. I'm gonna leave you with this slideshow of a few more trailers. Thank you for watching. Do something amazing today.